See that line? Ugh. The lash glue that. <laughs> Why are these so good? No! Oh. Oh. Oh! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're doing a get ready with me. This is my first time ever doing this, but you guys are really requesting it on my YouTube channel and on, on IG, what my day-to-day -day makeup routine kind of looks like, my go-to every day. And I wasn't expecting to kind of step into this makeup territory, but here we are. I do have brows on. If you guys want a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, I'm more than happy to do that. This is my first time doing this, so bear with me. Everything that I'm using is legit things that I use every single day. I'm not making any of this up. I, nothing is brand new. So as I'm moving forward with this video, just keep in mind that everything is pretty messy. Also, I'm working with my stitches hand, which I put a band-aid on there so you can't see it because I just got my stitches taken out. Shout out to my doctor there. And then also when I just do my makeup, I do put these little unicorn head things on. I don't know if you could see that. And the reason why I do that is because I like to have my hair pushed back. I don't like having my hair in the way when I'm doing my makeup. My skin is already prepped and primed. Obviously I have eyebrows on, but this is again just my daily makeup routine, starting with my concealer, which I've been using. Well, actually I take it back, I'm a liar. I said that there's nothing brand new. This is one thing that is brand new that I wanted to try and it's Rihanna's um, concealer, and the color that I have is 370. I don't know if you can see that, and it's Fenty Beauty. I legit love this thing, like, look. Sure you guys already heard this, but Rihanna knocked it out of the ballpark with her concealers, her foundations, and honestly, pretty much everything. Her concealer that I'm using today blends super well into my skin, almost kind of like second skin, and the color matching is so wide. So I feel like there's a shade available for most people, maybe all people, in all different skin tones. It also doesn't budge or transfer during the day, nor does it oxidize, and that's a must for me because I'm filming all the time. There's two different foundations that I normally work with. One is Lancome's Tan Idol Ultra Wear. I'll do this one when I'm filming Revlon color stay in the color 400 when I'm filming or if I have like a project that I really want to look good I want to glow I'll use this one but for weekends like this today's Saturday and I'm not really doing anything besides cleaning around the house and maybe going out with friends a little later I use Revlon color stay this has been my go-to for years it's hands down one of the best I think because the price point is so freaking fantastic I can usually get this for under $10 and it's a good amount. It's one ounce in the bottle. The pump is easy to work. The color pretty much matches me. You can get a sale, you can get a two for one. I mean, I just lose my mind over it. It doesn't transfer off of my skin. This brand I've used forever and I legit love it. So it is what it is. It's my favorite concealer and this is what I'm gonna be using today. Just pumping it onto my hand and I'm gonna smack it on my face. I know some people like to work with beauty blenders but I personally like foundation brushes. I feel like they're better for the environment and I've been using foundation brushes since the beginning of time without any issue so I'm not gonna switch it up now. But again, people swear by them. A little tip and trick that I wanna share with you guys. I keep baby wipes on my vanity. These ones are green tea melon baby wipes from Target. And it just helps me to clean myself, clean my table, clean my brushes while I'm working. I'm a Virgo, so I like to keep it as clean as possible. Just FYI. So the next thing that I'm gonna use is the Mega Glow Halo. And this color I have is Goddess Glow, obviously. And it's 309B. And I have another one that I really like. This one is Go With The Glow 308B. It's a little deeper in color. I don't know if you guys can see that, there you go. These are from Wet n Wild, which I really like because they're cruelty free. Because it's been winter time, I've been using the lighter color lately. If I'm not using those, I will use the Lustre, well no, this is Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drop in the color Candlelight. I really like this highlighter too. I got mine from Sephora. These are some things that I will lose my mind over because I just find them so beautiful. In fact, I'm probably gonna go with this color now. And I just drip it onto my face so I can shine bright like a diamond. I'm pretty much all out of this because I use it a lot. And I probably use too much but you only live once, am I right? The lighting drops for me are everything. I add them in the places where the sun would naturally hit my skin, creating an easy glow. Also, they make my skin look moisturized and youthful, something that I love, and people tend to notice it, and I get compliments on this all the time, anytime I use it. Okay, so that's pretty much my skin. 
just the base. Now we want to highlight and contour. For that, this is one of my favorite concealers when it comes to highlighting and contouring, the Makeup Forever, and I use the color 10. They're waterproof, and I just dab that on my face. While that sits there, I use Fit Me Powder, the loose powder, in the color dark, upside down, pal on me. And this is really messy, but pretty much you just kind of open it and it looks like this. And I use this to contour my face. Guys, two, 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 haha. -ha. I use a simple brush and I just set, use it to push on my brows, or I'm sorry, on my eyelid. And I push it really deep into my inner eye area because I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger. Like it pushes everything to the center of my face. I really have a moon face, obviously cancer rising. So everything seems kind of spread on my face. At least that's how I view it. I want to like push everything, you know, make it balanced. So I'll put a lot of dark in the center. But this is just what I do. I don't recommend it for everyone. What you guys don't know about me is before I started working for myself and before I started working for the company that I was working with for five years, before I started working for myself, I worked in cosmetics. I worked for Shiseido, which is a Japanese skincare line and it's one of the best when it comes to skincare, like quality of products. And I honestly loved that job so much. I loved hanging out with the women there. It was like this whole goddess circle. This goddess tribe is how I saw it. Everyone kind of just took me in as their own. Everyone was like a mother to me, like an extension to my family. If I could do that job again, I would do it in a heartbeat. I think I was there for a good three years, maybe, I don't know. It was a good amount of time, but I would do it again. If I ever had to retire, I don't see myself not working. I love working and I love cosmetics. I love skincare, I love beauty. And I would work for Shiseido again in a minute. And again, like most of my skincare is Shiseido. Shiseido is where it's at. If you wanna see a video on my skincare, I'm more than happy to do that. So this has had some time to set. So I'm just gonna buff it in using my Real Techniques concealer brush. I think, this might be an eyeshadow brush, I don't know, it's this one. Real Techniques is where it's at. You can get it at Target or Sephora or Walmart for really cheap. And this just brightens the face up and lifts the face up. It's like an instant facelift. Now what I'm gonna do is, is just retouch up my eyebrows because I'm a perfectionist and that's what I do. I just felt like I might have wiped off a little bit of my eyebrow while I was putting my foundation on so I'm gonna make them a little darker and natural and get a little bit more cream on there and just lightly add to my eyebrow and then cut my line in nice and sharp so people be like damn girl your eyebrows are flawless and I'm like yeah girl I know. See that line? Ugh. It makes a big difference, like legit. Look at this one, like that one's okay. But this one though, ooh, ooh. So let me go ahead and turn it this way. Painting my own little happy tree on my face. Bueno. In my handy dandy makeup brush holder, aka Buddha head, I'm gonna be using my Sonia Kashuk eyeliner pencil or eyeliner brush. And I like this brush to be clean as much as possible because the cleaner the brush is, the cleaner your line is, and we want it to be sharp. We want to snatch wigs and break necks. That's how sharp we want this line to be when we're putting it on our eyes to make that cat eye. The gel liner that I'm using is from Wet n Wild. I swear by this stuff, it is so good. It's so crazy that Wet n Wild has such an awesome cream eyeliner, you just have to find it. It's so hard finding this. But basically what I do is, using my hand, I pull the skin so it's semi-taut. You don't want to pull it too tight, just enough to just slightly stretch the skin. Using small strokes one at a time, add the cream eyeliner at the top of the lash line. Don't worry about mistakes, people won't notice it anyways. So continue to add small strokes until you get to the end of your eye line and pull the line out straight with one steady swoop to form a straight solid line. Any mistakes can be buffed out later using concealer. Repeat the same steps on the following eye, remembering that eyebrows and eyeliner are sisters, not twins. The trick to doing the cat eye is you don't wanna pull your skin too tight in a way that pulls it so that it's not natural. Because when you let go of your skin, it's obviously gonna pop back into place. So I just have it so it's a little taut and then it just doesn't look weird when I let go of it. And then I just tweak them make it a little 
little thicker. So now what I'm gonna use is my mascara. And there's three different mascaras that I use. Yes, 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 yes. Eyelashes are everything for me personally. All of these are Maybelline. Maybelline knocks it out of the ballpark with their mascaras. In my opinion, I feel like they have the best mascaras. So our Maybelline is just killing it with the, in the mascara game. These are my three personal favorites. The first one is the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. And of course this one is supremely messy because I use it all the time and I use it in the waterproof. The next one, oh! is the falsies. I use this one second after I do the first um, colossal. And this one's also waterproof. And then the last one that I do because I'm extra is the colossal big shot. And this one is waterproof. And I do that on top of the falsies. I know that's really insane, but eyelashes are my thing. My eyelashes are naturally long. So when I put mascara on them and I, when I give them extra attention and I do it in this way, this like process, it just makes my eyes pop and that's just my thing like I'm known for having like Bambi eyes and I want to hold on to that for as long as I can so hopefully when I'm 90 years old I'm still putting on mascara and having you know big eyes but I use my Shiseido eyelash curler pretty gently on my eyelashes you want to make sure that this where your eyelash curler is clean because over time the mascara can build up and then when you unclamp it, it can pull out eyelashes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Your eyelashes are priceless and you want to hold on to them for as long as possible, just as much as your edges. I personally feel like Shiseido has the best eyelash curler in the world and I've been, and I've tried a lot of different eyelash curlers and there is a difference in my opinion. Now, I'm not gonna do any on my bottom lashes right now because I am gonna put concealer underneath my eyes again, I know. So because I'm putting on three different mascaras on my eyes, I give them each time to dry. While that dries, which is really important because you don't want your mascara to clump. Clumpy mascara is not cute. I'm using Wet n Wild's Mega Length Waterproof Mascara. And I use this on my eyebrows just to keep the shape and color. Fuck! That's never happened before in my life. Don't make me have to start all over. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude! <laughs> Look at it! How can I fix this? <sighs> that was frustrating. Okay, moving on to my eyelashes again. So a little bit, just making sure each eyelash gets undivided attention so that they can feel like little princes and princesses. Mm. Mm. Hey Google! Ignore me. <gasps> Be right back, I'm gonna go get my lashes! I feel like my Tamagotchi sometimes wants to die. Like I legit can take such good care of it and then it'll literally complain. But then also, I'm 31, what am I doing with a Tamagotchi still? Living my best life, that's what. Sorry guys, I have to feed my Tamagotchi right now. Maybe it's because I feed it too many snacks. Okay guys, <laughs> so moving forward, let's talk about lashes. I don't use lashes every day nor do I use them when I'm filming, but when I do use lashes, I use the Ardell Demi Wispies and I get them in the pack. I have a few that I've been using. In fact, when I'm taking off my makeup at the end of the day, I put them in this little tray that I also put my jewelry in and then I reuse them until I can't anymore because these eyelashes, I feel like you can really reuse them without any issues. The lash glue that, ah, ah! I'm so extra today. The lash glue that I usually use is this one, the this clear one. It's called Andrea Strip Lash. It's in clear. God damn it, I suck at this makeup thing, tutorial thing. Just trust me, this is what it looks like. Just focus for me, baby. Focus for me. Focus! Um, and the other one is Revlon. There you go, lash precision. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the black one today. Uh-huh, get it on it. Kick, push, pull, and away we go. Oh! Yes! Yes, girl! Yes! 
sorry. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself because lashes are not easy. So while that one sits and gets used to sitting on my eyelash face, I'm gonna do the next one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, all right, all right. Blow on it and then drop it like it's hot. Pull it off to the side like it's not. Ugh. And then push, push, push. Yes, girl. Good girl. What you guys don't know is that I have to keep pausing to switch out my battery because I won't let this damn thing just charge fully because I just want to get this done. I'm having the time of my life filming this right now. I had no idea I would like filming a makeup tutorial as much as I'm liking right now, but I realized that I obviously like to make things harder on myself more often than not. Lesson learned, you know, just let something charge up first, but it is what it is. So, eyelashes are on. You guys can already see that. Bing, bang, boom. Looking like a million bucks. Mmm. Absorb that But now again you guys know I'm a perfectionist So I'm gonna go back in with that dark powder that I was using before from Maybelline fit me and I'm using an eyeshadow brush from elf cosmetic and I'm just getting into like let's say I'm looking down Just in my normal life. I just look down and I just want to get in that cut that crease in right in the inner of my eye And that just creates a little bit more depth and creates that Bambi look so I don't know if you can see that but like one eye looks bigger than the other and this one looks bigger than this one. So I'm just gonna cut this in real quick. I wanna be able to like look down and my eyelids still look real nice. Just cut it in real natural, nothing too crazy. Then, of course, I'm going to take the same powder and then put it on my lower right here to create more depth on the further out like the outer corners of the eye. For some reason, I have to make my face like this when I'm putting on eyeshadow and mascara on the bottom lashes, so still cute though. And that just creates a little bit more depth that's natural. And then I'm gonna take my Sonia, Sonia Kashuk or whatever, I don't know how to say, say it. Sorry girl. I'm gonna load it up with some cream eyeliner, the same cre cream eyeliner that I put on the top. And I'm just gonna put it right, look, there's that face again in the corners right there. Cause we want to look like Bambi. We want big eyes. So just right here, nothing too crazy. Don't make it so obvious that people are like, oh, why'd she stop eyelining it right there? Why? And then I'm gonna go back to that same concealer that I was using before. Makeup Forever's Waterproof. And put a little kisses of concealer right underneath there. And this is really gonna take this to the next level and just Instead of spreading it out further, I'm gonna keep it pretty concentrated right in the front because again, I'm bringing the attention to the center of my face and like making it look like my face is more round or more olive than round. Cause again, I have that moon face and I just want my face to look freaking flawless. See how it's kind of like, oh, here? And that's just the highlighting aspect. I will start to contour now, but see how it brings everything to center and gives it dimension. Then I'm gonna go in with this Isabella Scott makeup brush, kind of like a tapered blush brush. And I'm gonna use the same powder that I use to contour my eyes. And I'm gonna use it to contour my cheekbones, my cheekbones. And I'm just gonna put it right here under that. See how subtle that is? That's kind of a lot right now, my bad. And then I'm gonna bring it into my hairline like so into my forehead because I got a big five head right here and then bring it into my hair and buff this out a little bit and then I'm gonna do my chin because I've been eating a lot of fried food down here in New Orleans very happily trust me I'm happy to do that I had fried mac and cheese bites the other day so freaking good I would literally wanted to cry in the bar I was just like <laughs> Why are these so good? And they had like a mar marinara sauce and I was just dipping it and then I took it to go and the next day around lunchtime, one of my friends called me and I was eating it and she was like, girl, are you okay? And I was just like, <laughs> like losing my mind chew chewing it. This fried food down here is no joke. The food in New Orleans is no joke. Anyways, back to makeup. So that's what I got there. Now, remember this brush that I was using to get right in my crease right here? That's what I'm gonna use now to contour my nose. 
Now I love my nose, but I like it to have a little bit more definition because it kind of turns into like shapeless after all of the concealer and foundation that I put on there. I'm using the same powder that I was using, the same loose powder, the same brush that I used to put on my eyelids. And I'm gonna go right in here, real nice and light, and just give it depth and definition because I removed that when I was putting foundation on. And I'm gonna carry it into my eye bone section, Rachel. See, a little bit of definition. And then I'm gonna put it on my chin because I lost that a little bit. And right underneath my nose. How's that for a makeup tutorial, you guys? Oh my God. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to have coffee and to do these things for you, but here we are. <laughs> All right, next step is the bottom of my eyelashes. And I'm just using this Maybelline Colossal Mascara, which I was using before. And I'm just putting a little bit more emphasis on the corners because we want that Bambi look, that big eyed I didn't do it. look. And not so much on the inner of my eyes, not yet. You just wanna be careful not to get too clumpy, which I'm not doing right now. I'm kinda of just throwing it on my face at this point. What blush do I wanna to use today? I think I'm gonna go for Artisan Color Baked Blush in Toasted Almond. This stuff is the truth. And I'm using this dirty ass blush brush that has bronzer and other blush in there. I really don't care, to be quite honest with you. And I just do the most with it, just the most. And I put it on my cheekbones. Now I have friends from Mac and Dior who are like, just, you know, or they have it like, just put it on the apples of your cheeks. Yeah, well, I'm a little extra heavy handed with things. It is what it is. And I just smack it on my cheekbones. I haven't had anybody tell me that I look like a crazy person yet, yet, but I'm sure it will come. And at some point I smeared, I got a little bit here, so I'm just gonna buff that out with my same concealer brush. Now, I'm gonna use my fan brush and my favorite shimmering highlighter from Becca in the color Opal. And I broke this, I bought this, you guys, I treated myself to this, I think it was like 35 or 40 or 48 or 50, I can't remember. But I treated myself to this and then like two days later, I dropped it. So it's really like crumbly. I'd love to show you the color, but I obviously can't. And I just kind of dib dab and then I blow it like a little pixie and then I lightly brush it here. Uh-huh. And then I lightly get it on this side too. Uh-huh. And on my forehead. And then I put some more on there because again, I'm extra. And I put it on my nose. And I put it on my nose here. And on my lip right here. And that just makes me look like queen goddess. Close it up real nice and tight. Put that away. Okay, max. Foundation, I'm sorry, Max Eyeshadow and All That Glitters. This thing is just, I hit the pan in this, but I use it all the time. And pretty much what I do is grab my Buddha head. Um, Real Techniques, I think this is their concealer brush. Oh, it says base, eye, base shadow brush. It's like I use it for the center of my eye brush. And then I just get it right in there, just clock it right in that center. Oh, oh! You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. But again, you have to like pump yourself up sometimes to do these things. Just remind yourself that you're so cute. And then you do right here, just a little, just a little, nice and light. Nothing too crazy. But when someone's looking at your face and they're just like, damn, she's so, she's so cute. And then you just like hit them with that like extra, like that light glow right there. They're like, whoa, didn't see that coming. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The setting spray that I'm using is Urban Decay's All Night. I think it's mattifying, but I can't remember. But it's long lasting, I'll say that. Ooh, and let that do its thing. The next thing that I'm gonna do is use my Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid, liquid Cat Suit. And I'm just gonna smash this onto my mouth. Nothing too crazy, just a little subtle color. And I just put this one on and smear it in with my fingers like I would if it was chapstick. And then I come in with my Fenty lip gloss. What is this? Gloss Balm. Do you guys see how hard I'm struggling with just trying to get the damn camera to focus? Maybe it's my settings, but maybe it's me. Or maybe it's Maybelline. 
and I just put this in the center. Uh-huh, lusciousness while my skin kind of dries. And at, at this point, I'm thinking about my life. I'm thinking about questions that I have. So while my face dries, and if I haven't done this already, especially on the weekend, I grab my tarot cards, I start shuffling. I got it! The struggle is real. Okay, so while my face is drying, I'm thinking, angels and gods from the highest lights of the universe, what do you want me to know for today, my loves? Speak to me. Speak to me through my cards. Goddess vibes, man. <gasps> Ooh, it's on and popping. Is it because of this highlight? Breaking necks, turning heads, you know what I mean? Okay. Two of cups, huh? Don't be scared. The two cards that I pulled for myself for today are the Two of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Now, I personally don't like the Eight of Swords, but it is what it is. Thank you so much, angels and guides, for speaking to me with that one. Maybe this, for me, is like my personal fears or whatever it is, whatever. But Two of Cups, I'm here for it. And of course, I'm gonna be using my own love spell on myself, on my skin, which is so perfect, too, because two of cups, I mean, come on. This oil was already charged with my personal intent for just attraction and goddess vibes, and so I just like to put it on my heart chakra. Just get that glow, like that essence, like that goddess vibe. Oh my God, it smells so good, and I can already feel all the goodness. Get that two of cups energy on me, boo. Mm, 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 mm. That's how I set intention, quick intention, for those of you guys that ask. If you want money, pull the Ace of Cups, or Ace of Wands, or Nine of Cups, or King of Pentacles. Get that vibe all over you. Get that money oil on your chest. Get that money oil on your hands. Put it in your hair. The sky's the limit, come on now. So that's pretty much my everyday makeup look. The eyelashes are kind of extra, but I wanted to do it complete my look today, I'm wearing a protective wrap with some poop quartz crystal earrings. That's pretty much it for my everyday makeup look. Short, sweet, and simple. Okay, you guys, so that's my look, everyday look. I hope you liked it. I mean, I'm not perfect with these things, but I had fun. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go out for a little bit just to go meet up with some friends. I'm obviously super stoked today and in a good mood. And plus, I mean, these two of cups vibes on me are a little too strong. So if you like this video, then go ahead and give me the thumbs up. Leave some comments down in the bottom. Make sure that you're subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.